Hi everybody, I'm Jerry Paul and I'm an indie author and welcome back to my channel. I write young adult fiction across a variety of genres and if you think that might interest you, think about subscribing below. As someone with chronic illnesses and disabilities, it makes sense that I talk about limits when it comes to writing and other creative pursuits. I've been a writer for over two decades and I've been published for about 19 years this month. So with that said, let's jump into working out your limits and why that's a good thing to keep track of. Number one, limits are there for a reason. While I understand the want to do all the things and still be able to have energy to do more things, it just doesn't work like that. For a long time, my limit was less than satisfactory to me and I would find myself trying to push and stretch out my goals to reach them. And it always, always ended up with me crashing and burning and that's just not conducive to being able to keep moving forward. There's limits in everything, whether you're chronically ill and disabled or abled and healthy, you still have a limit there that will stop you from going too far. And while it can be tempting to ignore them or push past what you know works, which I'll cover more in a moment, that is only going to hurt you and trust me, it's not worth it. That path leads to crashes, it leads to burnout and it leads to needing more and more time away from what you want to be doing so that you can recover. Your body has a limit and while you can play with it a little, going all out means it'll just gonna backfire. So even though it can be frustrating and even though it might mean it takes you longer than you'd like to do the thing, it's a good idea to stick to that limit lest you end up a sobbing mess on the floor. Number two, better to push a little than too much. So like I just said, you can and probably should push yourself a little, even if the temptation is there to do it all. By this I mean simply that sometimes there will be occasions where deadlines pile up and you have no choice but to push a little to be able to get it all done in time. The key thing is that you should only do it a little. Going too hard is going to blow up in your face and you will not thank yourself for doing so. Say you manage to usually do one chapter a day, pushing yourself a little would be writing too but not making it your new routine, that would be too much. If you're able to manage to revise five chapters in one sitting and find that you have a little bit of extra energy and brain power left, again, try for 10. But do not make this your norm unless you find that it works. And when I say find it works, I mean on multiple occasions. I do not mean that you do it once, think that wasn't so bad, and then push yourself to breaking point to keep up with it. I've done this before when I've known where my limit is, pushed a little and then decided that I can do it all the time. The end result was not pretty, so don't do what I did. Number three, trial and error is your friend. This is something that can work for you both when you're trying to learn those limits and also when you're trying to push a little to see if things have changed. Things do and can and will change. They might go either way. It might be that you used to be able to do a chapter a day and now two is more the norm, or you did two and now one is all you can manage. The way to explore your limits is to do so gently and be ready to have some of that downtime if things don't work out, which I'll talk about more in a moment. You might be trying to push your limits but not knowing where to start and that's where trial and error comes into play. Like going back to me, I knew that I could manage one chapter a day without fail but sometimes I wanted to be able to do more. So I tried a number of different ways of doing it from blocking out double chapter days once a week to doing them all at the end of the month or to the beginning of the month and so on. I found that I much prefer getting them down earlier than later, it helps with my anxiety to know that they're done and over with, but it also helped me plan with what comes after that block of double days. Like I would want a day off, but taking it so soon at the start of the month made me feel like it was a little wasted, especially when I knew I needed more than one day at the end of the month. I knew I couldn't put a recording day that close because I would be wiped out. I eventually managed to get to a point where on those months when I wanted to do double chapters, which is usually the months that I start double projects or like NaNoWriMo, I minimise the amount of work needed for the following few days and it works for me. So start small, don't be afraid to experiment and find out what works for you. And number four, rests are not earned. We all knew that this was going to be in here because I have always, always been a big advocate for taking breaks. I know the writer life is hard work and there's all these pesky deadlines and sometimes you fall behind and it's hard to have to catch up and even then breaks, time, away from work, you don't have to earn them. They should be taken and given as a matter of course. You don't have to earn time off, you don't have to earn that chance to curl up with a book. No matter what deadlines or level of work you have, you need those breaks. 
that rest otherwise you will burn out and no one wants that so even when you're finding your limits and even when you think you have to double down and work harder and longer remember that breaks are mandatory for good well-being take them when you can and don't penalize yourself because of them so there we go those are my tips when it comes to finding your limits i have been working within my limits for a while now and like i said i have done a few experiments to see whether i can push things out a bit more so far i've not found that i can extend my way of working for longer than a couple of days without needing a break but i've also managed to work make it work for me Right now I'm doing revision as my main course rather than drafting and revision as a sort of secondary. So I'm having to find a new way of working, but so far I'm on the right track. So what's one of your tips for working out your limits? Let me know in the comments down below. So that's all I've got time for today. If you want to support my channel, you can comment, like, or subscribe. I post your videos on Thursdays. You can find me all over social media and my books are available everywhere. And you can also sign up for my newsletter. And don't forget to pre-order Cramming Chronicles The Third Ache, which is the third in a Young Adult Urban Fantasy series. And if you do pre-order, don't forget to grab the swag. And also don't forget to grab a ticket for Wonderland in Nottingham in July 2025, where I'll be signing books. All the links for which are listed below. Thanks for watching, and remember, key writing. Bye.